Imagine a dark room filled with shelves of unsolved cases that may not have been looked at in years. Now imagine taking those cases off the shelf and bringing them into the light. The goal of this channel is to shed some new light on those dark cold cases on a state-by-state -state basis. Thus, welcome to Dark Cold State. I am your host, Dawn, and I plan to bring some light to these cases in hopes of providing new tips, leads, or attention that will bring a resolution to remaining family members. Today's cold cases are from the state of Maryland. Our first cold case is the death of Quanice LaShonda Orange. Quanice LaShonda Orange was a two-year-old female found by her mother at 6.30 a.m. on the morning of December 2, 1986. She was found comatose in the bedroom of their apartment located in the 8,000 block of Green Orchard Road in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Quanice LaShonda Orange lived with two adults and one other child in the residence. Quanice was transported to a local hospital where she died three hours later. The cause of her death was listed as head trauma and her death was ruled a homicide. Did you or someone you know live near the area of the 8,000 block of Green Orchard Road in Glen Burnie on or around December 2, 1986? Do you have any information that can assist law enforcement in this case? If you can provide any information regarding this case, please contact Anne Arundel County Police Tip Line at 410-222-4731 or Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-756-2586. Please reference case number 86-186685. Callers can choose to remain anonymous. Our next cold case is the case of Derek Markell Peterson. Derek Markell Peterson, a 23-year-old male, was shot and killed in front of his home on December 17, 2001 at approximately 9 p.m. Derek Markell Peterson resided in the 9600 block of Barrel House Road in Laurel, Maryland. Witnesses report seeing a black or African American male of average height fleeing the scene on foot. He was carrying what appeared to be a bag or some type of bulky item. He got into a waiting vehicle driven by a large black or African American male who appeared to be in his late twenties and was approximately six feet to six feet three inches tall with a weight of two hundred seventy five pounds. The vehicle was described as a boxy white four-door sedan, perhaps like a Crown Victoria. Derek's mother, Rose Peterson, has made it her mission to find the person responsible for the murder of her son. Please help her find justice, resolution, answers, and some peace with providing any information you may have in this case. If you or someone you know was in the area of the 9600 block of Barrel House Road in Laurel, Maryland on December 17, 2001, around 9 p.m., or can provide any information that may help law enforcement with this case, please contact Howard County Police Department at 410-313-STOP. Our last true crime cold case for this week is Aaron Thomas Bryce. Aaron Thomas Bryce was a 19-year-old male who was shot and killed at a Halloween party overnight between October 31st and November 1st, 2009. The party had more than 100 people in attendance and was held at the 11500 block of Manorstone Lane in Columbia, Maryland. At 1.15 a.m., police received multiple calls from partygoers regarding shots being fired in a residence. When they arrived, they found that Aaron Thomas Bryce was deceased and another man had been injured. 
Were you at the party with Aaron Thomas Bryce or around the area of Manor Stone Lane on Halloween of 2009? Anyone with information regarding the death of Aaron Thomas Bryce can call Howard County Police Department tip line at 410-313-STOP. There are also many unidentified remains found in each state. If you have not already done so, please consider getting DNA testing completed where the DNA results are shared with law enforcement so that the possibility of identifying any unknown remains is increased. The goal of this channel is to provide attention to these cold cases. In order to do that, I must ask a favor of you. If you like the videos on this channel, please click the like button, share the video with others, comment below, and subscribe to the channel so that these videos are seen by as many people as possible. Currently, I select the next date for review using a randomizer. If you have a cold case or a missing person cold case that you would like to see featured on this channel, please suggest in the comments below or email me the information. Once cold cases and missing person cold cases are completed for each state, I will begin the process again with new cases. Appropriate update videos will be provided if needed. Thank you.